Hi! Today I will show you how to add ELOs to a rubric. Adding ELOs to a rubric can be done in an assignment or a quiz as long as you can attach a rubric. This can be done the same way whether it's an existing or new assessment. First we select Add Rubric and I'm going to delete the default criteria for grading because we're just going to focus on adding ELOs today. And then I'm going to title this ELO. Next, we're going to select Find Outcome. I've already uploaded this outcome, so it's ready to be added to our rubric. We have another video about importing ELOs, which will show how we pulled in this outcome ahead of time. The Use This Criterion for Scoring option will determine whether the ELO is counted for points towards the student's grade or not. By unchecking this box, the ELO points will not count towards the final grade. The Use This Criterion for Scoring option will determine whether the ELO is counted for points towards the student's grade or not. By unchecking this box, the ELO points will not count towards the final grade. When I select Import, you can see that the ELO has now been added to the rubric. Under Points, you can see that this ELO is worth points to create the different tiers, but the total points is still zero, so it does not affect the student's grade. This is because I unselected Use This Criterion for Scoring, so this criteria is not actually worth any points. Remember to save your work at the bottom to avoid losing any work.